The clock is ticking for Congress now to make a decision on whether or not to extend extra unemployment benefits for millions of Americans. Right now, people receiving benefits get an extra $600 a week because of the CARES Act. Now, that money is set to expire this week. Joe Mueller joins us now live with more details. Joe. Now, hey, that money was only supposed to last to the end of this month. Now, people who rely on this money, that extra 600 bucks a week, say they don't know what they'll do if this comes to an end. You know, um, so the 600 is definitely very helpful. Ismaray Regosa is a mother of two. She lost her job during the pandemic. With extra benefits, she almost makes what she did before COVID-19. If I would have just made 400, I don't know. It would have been tough. Under the CARES Act, people on unemployment were getting an extra $600 a week. That expires July 25th. One expert says without it, people would be making substantially less. To make it through the pandemic, people needed more than that. Chris O'Leary is the chief economist at Upjohn Institute for Employment Research. He says Congress can extend the benefits, but they have to act fast. He thinks benefits will be less. It probably will not double state benefits because, like I said, some states are very low and other states are very high, and they don't want to have an uneven federal distribution. But I'm thinking maybe something like $300 or $400. As the pandemic remains unpredictable, there was a lot for lawmakers to consider. Do you let it expire this next tranche in September? Is the crisis going to be over in September? We also have an election coming. So this is a political economy question. Thousands like Ragosa are waiting to see what they need to do. I do have some savings, so I'm sure I'll be okay for a little bit. Hopefully they figure something out. Now, O'Leary says we should expect to hear more on this this week. And President Trump did talk about this today as well. He says he is looking into an extension, but he says it will possibly be about 70% of what it is now. Reporting live, Joe Mueller, 8 News Now.